have become the weapons of political despots. Yes, ma'am. And I... if you don't think as they think, you're deprived of your passport. Will you allow me to... To leave a country is like breaking out of jail. Yes, And but... to enter a country is like going through the eye of a needle. But will... Am I free to travel? Of course you're free to travel. Only with a passport. Will you allow me to say something? Only with a passport. And free speech, does that exist? No, you've got it all. And free enterprise. We were talking of passports. Today it's all monopoly. All right. Now will you Can I go me? into the automobile business and compete with the auto trust? If I can get in a word. Not a chance. Can I go into the grocery business and compete with the chain stores? Will you shut up? Not a chance. Il avait d'abord prévu pour moi le rôle du, du jeune homme qui est là derrière, qui est en train de, de, de lui souffler des, des petits pois dans l'oreille. Et finalement, euh, on a travaillé un peu ensemble et il a décidé euh, de, de me donner l'autre rôle euh, plus important. Et bon, formidable pour moi. Today, man has too much power. The Roman Empire collapsed with the assassination of Caesar. And why? Because of too much power. Feudalism blew up with the French Revolution. And why? Right. Because of too much power. And today the whole world will blow up. And why? Because, Because of too much power. Je comprenais pas vraiment ce que j'étais en train de de, 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 de réciter, mais mais euh, je pense il, il m'a jamais expliqué vraiment. Euh, il, il, a, il a surtout il m'a donné un peu le, le ton à, à, à donner, euh, l'émotion à mettre dedans et et, euh, il a joué le rôle lui-même et je l'ai beaucoup imité et, et c'est comme ça que, que je l'ai fait. J'étais vraiment euh, entouré par mon père à, à chaque moment du tournage. J'étais vraiment euh, à côté de moi. Il, il m'a fait tout faire. Quoi. Et moi, j'étais tellement content d'avoir de, de, cette relation avec lui qui était... que j'avais pas vraiment... Euh, Travailler avec lui, c'était formidable. J'avais pas ça vraiment avant ni, ni même après. C'était vraiment un moment spécial qu'on qu a passé ensemble. Don't you remember me? Je say I do, the most obnoxious brat I've ever met. C'était un père assez difficile, et, mais alors là, c'était vraiment quelque chose d'unique. Oh, you don't. C'était un, un grand comique, un, un génie. Euh, euh, je vais pas dire que c'était le père idéal, non, mais je pense qu'on peut pas. On peut pas tout faire. Quoi. <rire> ah, here he is, Rupert. There's someone here to see you. Hello, Rupert. Unlike Chaplin's sentimental tendencies in some of his films, this film completely evades that, and for me, has an incredibly sad not sentimentally sad wow. ending, where this young boy it's is, good, well, it's a, a reference oh, to the Rosenbergs, but this kid is broken by the authorities. His spirit is broken. He is forced to name names in order to free his parents from prison. And he's very ashamed. Come, come, Rupert. I thought we were all over this. And I find that really tragic, because what he stood for was was really all the beautiful things. I mean, I, I, I agree with what he spouts out all the time. So that may be subjective, I don't know, but that makes it a tragedy for me, the film. Poor little fellow, I think a trip would do him good. But of course, there are complications. <laughs> well, let's hope they'll soon be over. I hope so too, sir. We all he really, it is his most rebellious film and, and has the most sting to it in a way the most venom in it you know in what in, in the message he's leaving <laughs> 